It's an Eastern Conference matchup as the Atlanta Hawks come into town in this game. Glad to have you with us for more NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan introducing the rest of the 2K broadcast team. Steve Kerr, Mark Kellogg, and sideline reporter Doris Burke. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And one of the players. Deng is a versatile small forward, Kevin. Able to do so many things that help you win games. He can score in transition. He can knock down that jump shot off of one or two dribbles. And then a very engaged defender who's got length and really good fundamental technique at that end of the floor. I agree wholeheartedly there. And he's also a nice steady 15, 18 points per game score. Pretty much his whole career. Rock solid instead. Take a look at the polls. Despite a very successful road trip, it's got to be nice to return home and play in front. After that, so it would get them off to a really good start in the, uh, in the season series. And Steve, I think they would love to have that kind of leg up and huge advantage if they could. I mean, that goes a long way towards maybe winning the season series with the 2 old start. It's fatigue. Makes the lead pass. Here's Millsap. A second chance effort. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. First trip to the free throw line for the level. A guy who battles inside. And, and even when he's at a size disadvantage, he still seems to, to really prosper. These fans are in full. Giving them plenty to cheer about. Stolen. To the middle. Here's Rose. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Well, this is how you can. Chicago making a switch here. Muhammad's checked in. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I caught up with Coach Tom Thibodeau. We talked about It's Williams with the drive. He goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. Williams has got shooting from the free throw line. I mean, that's saying something right there. Impressive. Kept alive. Mohammed goes up and lays it. He's long like a pendulum. Teague against Rose. T kicks to Corbin. He feeds it to Horford. A terrific shot on a turnaround. Build a big lead early on. I mean, it's tight. What do you think, Steve? Well, both teams still kind of feeling each other out here. And uh, neither team has been able to, to find it. 17 as an assistant. Well, you couldn't ask for a better teaching ground than that. And that one's good. No shot. Those are the kind of... Puts the lead pass in front of him. Here's Clutch. T covering. And both inning is going to be the call. So they get the... He loves the game. He's very dedicated, hardworking, and uh, has learned from probably the best coach in the NBA during his time at San Antonio. Gets it to go. Pass to Muhammad. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Fires from deep. Shots get from Clutch. Clutch has got 11 point quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Oh, and a jam by Rose. Clutch. Doubled by Gordon. Back to Rose. That is good. Millsap. And it's set back by Garnett. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. With the floater. And it's good on the way up. For of hope for the entire family, and he certainly has allowed his light to shine brightly. The offensive rebound. Shot's good by Blacks. Guys, he's actually... As you expect, it has embraced him. You know, it's, it's interesting, Steve, to be a high pick, but drafted by your hometown team. The pressure is pretty interesting. I love at the United Center when they introduce him, they just say... Throws off the pick from Garnett, and it's Rose penetrating. Softly drops in the floor. For themselves here. Rose up a screen on Rose. And Matt kicks to Horford. Matt dishes to Williams. Offensive rebound. Second chance shot. And Horford with the lay in. Now three after three. Numbers like that make you anxious to see what he can do next time out. And thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents terrified, Clark. Well, I know this opponent should be terrified because there's a good chance the momentum he gathered that night carries right over into this game. Well, some of it will carry over. That's the scores among this year's rookie class. And you look at Clutch, 
He's one of those guys who has the ability to find the open space on the floor before it develops. And you need that ability to shoot that kind of percentage. And it's a trait, quite honestly, guys, that a lot of rookies do not have. I mean, they just don't possess that. Certainly not this early in their career. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one of the strike. Yeah, he's a full court man. And what I mean by that is it's no problem. Please, their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. That is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. To Scott. He's covered by Dan. The kick out to Williams. Pocket four. And they come right back with their own. And the Bulls tack on two more. You know, next time he has that much to see them sitting there in the number one spot in the conference, the excellent brand of basketball. That... And now, brought to you by Sprint. We're happy to be with you this Tuesday night. Keep it here on 2K Sports as we break down the first half. The Bulls have the lead out in Chicago against Atlanta. They're atop the conference standings and looking to defend their position. Derrick Rose absolutely dominating. How's that for a shooting percentage? A hundred. Yes, 100% from the court. Not too bad. It's been a disappointment, though, for the Hawks so far. Too many turnovers. Tough to win when you're giving the ball away as easily as they have. They need to start playing smarter basketball in the second half. Not a great game for Luis Williams so far. Just can't find anything going for himself. He's shooting under 30% from the floor. That's all we've got here. Now, back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the second half. Chart, it's all great up. I mean, he's right at the rim. He's driving the lane again and again. Watch. He's in a shooting guard. Watch out there. With... Atlanta with the ball. Outside T. And here's Corver from the yard. And that comes off the assist by Jeff T. In all areas, that was a very satisfying road win. Clock is at three. Here's Garnett. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Garnett. With the lead pass. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. The Bulls have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And they've shot six on the shot clock. A step back shot here. Another one falls for Chicago. Shooting 80%. They got their offense clicking. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Porter, good. No confusion. And they're also ranked number one in taking care of the ball. Not many turnovers. They value possessions like no other. And the shooting is really what stands out to me. This is a team that, that does such a good job of finding open looks. They're unselfish. They work offensively to create good shots. And when they do that, they're on their game. They're tough to beat. Dang with the buckets. How about that for a response? Teague with the ball. Right now averaging 11 points a game. That's a two from Corver, and that comes off the assist by shooting the three ball well. Watch again, Horford. On the high post, on its way from Rose for two. Here's Garnett. Makes it off the glass. Garnett's hot near the hoop. T gets to Corver. Corver off the pick from Horford. Corver, good. Give an assist there, not the pass to Clutch. Watch inside, and the layup falls. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Clutch has got... Look at his percentage and his ranking among the rookies, and that says it all. Sometimes pictures are better than words, or numbers in this case. Well, tonight, just a little over 40%. Rose passes to Clutch. Back to Rose. To the paint. Clutch. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Even while absorbing contact, he is so strong. Even with defenders hanging all over him, he continues to finish at the basket. And also, he's one of those guys who can cover 94 feet in the blink of an eye and often does, with or without help on the break. Four on the shot clock. Here's Schroeder. 
And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. With the shot. And the shot is long. Well, Chicago has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Now the pass to Clutch. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Good on the shot. Schroeder's got seven now in this quarter. Here's Clutch, defended by Carroll. Heinrich outside. Three-pointer. Cut the bucket. That's now 32 points for Clutch. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Bulls running away with this one. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Double eye on. And there's John Jenkins. And it's Mack in at the point guard position. Jenkins off the pick from Scott. Six to shoot. Shoots it. Shots good by Jenkins. Jenkins got the by Carroll. Takes the 13-footer. Gets it to go. They're perfectly content to keep going. It's stolen by Heinrich. Oh, here comes Heinrich all alone. Gets the bucket. Good aggressive finish on the break. Off the mark by Atlanta. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a cute. Possible what we just said. Clark, is that possible? Not <laughs> is probable, it? but it is possible, partner. It's it possible. Is possible. It's not probable. It, it is possible. I don't know what all that meant, but you're right, Clark. Ion gets the bucket. Heinrich outside. And there's the pass to Clutch. Six on the shot clock. Back to Heinrich. From the top of the key, again, Chicago. Scott kicks to Ion. Back to Scott. Dishes it to Matt. Outside, Scott. Passes it to Jenkins. And that one's on target from the wing. From past the arc. And good on the basket. Book it. A wide open three. Let's the free fly. Another three for Chicago. I like the way they've played here. And they're shooting a much better percentage. Shots good by Jenkins. Great job, dude. Snell. And a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. Mag dishes to Scott. Rejected by Murphy. He's again. I tell you what, the way he's been going this quarter, guys, they're going to need somebody else to pick up the slot. To the inside, Snell, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. And you can always depend on him to put the pass right on the money. Here's Carroll. The pass to Schroeder. The feed now to Jenkins. Here's Schroeder. The dish now to Ion. And that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Fans don't like that call one bit. Well, the officials got an earful as a result. Jimmy Butler, he's jumped in for the bowl. Smith has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Pass to Clutch. Kicks to Murphy. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Clutch the pass to Heinrich. Drills the three-pointer. Heinrich's got 10 points. No good from Schroeder. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. The shot's good from Clutch. Another pass put right into the shooter's. Back to Scott. Good. Can't pass up that kind of look. Chicago has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Heinrich kicks to Buck. He passes it to Clutch. There's the dish to Muhammad. 
Pass to Murphy. Here's Clutch, defended by Scott. He on the clock. Let's it go from 11. Can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Schroeder. And I think this is going to be too much to overcome, Clark. What do you think? All the sand in the hourglass is gone, and I agree with you. The feed to Scott. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game. That'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, Clutch. I'm not sure if you're aware, but tonight marked your 50th straight game, scoring in double digits. That's more than half a season and a pretty remarkable display of consistency. What's been the key to such a long run? Man, that's great. I got to thank Coach for continuing to call my number. I just try to listen to his instructions and go out there and execute. When we all doing that, good things happen, and that's what creates streaks like this. Any one of these guys could have done it, too. It just happened to be me this time, you know?